In Burkina Faso, about 70% of smallholder farmers work their land with hand tools. About 30% of the farmers have oxen for preparing the land, but there have been few improvements in tools and equipment for animal power in recent decades. Women and children are largely responsible for most of the tedious work of planting and weed control. Farmers understand how equipment can improve their farming system, and the local blacksmiths live among the farmers, they understand their needs, and they have the skills to build and repair their tools. The blacksmiths are building inline subsoilers for zone tillage for corn on the row crops. This innovation will replace the moldboard plow and restore soil health by reducing tillage intensity and retaining a protective cover of crop residue on the soil surface. We have great respect and value the contributions of the farmers and blacksmiths in the process of adopting animal power mechanization for sustainable intensification. <laughs> Here, we have five new zone till rippers ready for use on neighboring farms. To match local conditions, the tools need to be inexpensive, rugged and functional, and able to be built and repaired with local skills and materials. The subsoilers till a narrow band of soil about 8 inches wide and 6 inches deep. The rolling basket levels and firms the seed bed. Animal drawn planters introduced in West Africa decades ago were widely rejected by farmers because of their high cost and poor performance. The success of the inline subsoiler enabled several planter innovations to improve performance in conditions of low soil disturbance and surface residue. We introduced a simple seat plate drive mechanism so that the local blacksmiths can build with simple tools. Ready? We improved the seat plates and seed delivery for corn, sorghum, millet, and cowpea. We developed an innovative fur opener for better seed placement. We developed concave disc furrow closers that improve residue flow and greatly reduce plug. We also reduced the width of the press wheels by 50% for more localized pressure in the narrow tillage zone. J'ai travaillé avec le semoir. Je me suis rendu compte que c'est facile à manipuler. C'est d'habitude les femmes et puis les enfants ont l'habitude de semer. Avec le semoir maintenant, c'est plus rapide. Maintenant, si on pouvait associer le moteur du couturier au semoir, c'est-à-dire le mettre en avant du semoir, et que les deux appareils puissent travailler ensemble. Innovations to improve weed control and cultivator performance in the zone tillage system included working with local blacksmiths to build low crown, low pitch sweeps for full row root cutting at a shallow tillage depth. Here we are using the row cultivator pre-plant for early season weed control and soil made mellow from recent rain. We then planted directly without using the zone tillage tool or any additional tillage.
outside of the growing season, crop land is common land in Burkina Faso. Both crop and non-crop land is shared as a community resource for grazing. Some feed is stored over the dry season, but the quality is often low. A few animals are enclosed and receive extra feed, but most are free-ranging and tend to lose condition as natural feed supplies diminish over the long dry season. To improve animal nutrition, we trained the blacksmiths to build simple forage choppers. Processing dry forage improved feed intake and we demonstrated how to make and store high moisture silage in trench silos. This silage was surprisingly good considering the very mature stage of crop growth low moisture content and long length of cut. The cattle were quick to accept this new feed. This year, we plan to expand the silage project with corn, sorghum, and millet harvested and stored at the correct stage of growth.